We are learning new information tonight about one of the four people shot and killed inside a northeast side apartment. The killings have prompted a new call for church leaders to talk about stopping violence. Let's start our coverage tonight with News 8's Leah Hodges. And Leah, uh, Leah I, I understand that you talked with a sister of one of the men killed. Hey, Phil and Nina, I did. I spoke with Braxton's sister. Today is actually her birthday, and she's going to be spending today remembering her brother. She says that Braxton is cousins to one of the victims, Jalen Roberts. He was going over his place to visit on the night they both were killed Wednesday night. Now, the community is in mourning for Kamala Hunt, Jalen Roberts, Braxton Ford, and Marcel Wills. And that's why church leaders are stepping up to make sure the violence stops. Braxton's sister says he was a loving brother, uncle, and son, a beautiful soul all around. Braxton was an accomplished Boy Scout and made Eagle Scout in June 2017. He graduated from Lawrence North High School. Meanwhile, pastors are using their leadership in hopes another life isn't taken away soon. It's going to take all of us. I don't think law enforcement can solve the problems that is leading to the violence, you know, so we have to take a greater role. Um, you know, in, in trying to curb the violence. Reverend Dr. Charles Harrison tweeted today, calling on church leaders around the city to address the senseless violence at Sunday services. Everyone said that we're going to do it not just this Sunday, but some pastors said over the next month, we're going to begin to talk about this issue every Sunday in our churches. Urban and suburban churches are wanting to start conversations on solutions to bring peace into communities and about the surge of violence in the last 90 days. We have had 179 people shot, we have had uh, 59 people stabbed, and we have had 51 people murdered. Um, those are the numbers, and if we project it out at this pace, uh, we can end the year uh, with 200 homicides. The city's never seen that level of violence. And Braxton's sister also tells me that their father passed away also from gun violence in December 2017 at the Carriage House Apartments. So far, no updates on the case. Reporting live in Indianapolis, I'm Aaliyah Hodges, Wish TV News 8. Just very sad, Aaliyah. Thank mm -hmm. you very much.